Welcome to the fitness podcast, Beyond the Workout, featuring your host, Coach E, where we give you health and fitness tips that go beyond the gym and help you along your fitness journey. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. Thank you for your interest in this podcast, Beyond the Workout. As a disclaimer, anything you hear in this show from me, Coach E, Eric Dunstan, or any of my guests that is related to health, exercise, nutrition, is just that. It's information only. What works specifically for you has to be thoroughly evaluated and checked by a professional, either your physician or a professional personal trainer. Okay, enjoy the show. Hello everyone and welcome to another show of Beyond the Workout. In this show, as I promised, I'm interviewing my older client. She's over 70 and I think you'll enjoy hearing from her. Her name is Iris, I-R-I-S, and uh, take a listen to what keeps her motivated why she's so busy, and maybe you can steal a gem or a nugget from uh, what she has to say. I hope you enjoy this show. Here it is. All right, here it is. I, I'm going to tell you something. Um, first of all, I'm glad you came on to do this interview. And in my very last show, I told folks that I will be interviewing you. So they are expecting this interview. So I'm glad you're here. I, I know you're not feeling that well, but Thank you for doing it, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm a little sleepy. <laughs> All right, we'll, <laughs> we'll actually get through it because you know, as a coach, rest is very important. So what I, what I do with each guest, and I already told you this before we hit record, is just tell us a little bit about you, more, like mostly like you're married, how long, got kids, what, keep, what actually keeps you busy? So what's okay. up with you? Okay. Well, I've been married. I am married. And I have been married for um going to be 44 years in July. And uh, what kept me busy? My spiritual life and my personal care for my, my personal person uh, in gym, massage, stretching. I really love to do those things because it make me feel uh, young. That's right. Make me feel strong. Right. So, so let me ask you this. So you've been married, you said it'll be 44 years in July, you say? Yes. So, but do you, your work is your housewife, right? You do a lot of work around the house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm a housewife. I keep my house clean. I do everything a good lady to be doing in her house. I love to cook. Yeah. Um. What else? I mean, keeping my my garden. Um, beautiful. I like to to build all like little uh, town with little houses. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Including uh, a lot of a lot of lighthouses. I love that. Ships and old, you know, old houses from ancient time, like. Beautiful houses like that. I think they are beautiful. All you know kind the good of... thing. You know the good mm-hmm. thing about that. Like you say, you like to work in your garden and do those things. People don't realize that that is a form of exercise because you're moving when you do that. So that's very important. So speaking of you, you mentioned a little bit about your fitness and what you like to do at the gym. But what do you, what is like what are some of the desires you want to accomplish? Because I know we work together, 
we still work together in strength training, but what do you really want in your fitness life? What are you looking for? Hmm. <laughs> well, I, I like to be um, flexible, strong. Mm -hmm. I like to lift weight. I love it. Okay, why do why do you love it? Why do you love it? What what do you love about it? Because I told people that you you lift this this weight that's a lot heavier than you. Remember those deadlifts? Why do you why do yeah. you like it so much? What, what what do you love about it? Because it's good to feel that you are strong, especially if you are seven. I'm gonna be seventy three years old, and I feel like a I don't know. I feel very young. Believe me, <laughs> if I don't see my face in in the mirror. <laughs> I just realized that I'm I'm 70 something when I look at myself in the mirror. So I want to have a, you know, a, how you say that? Like a, a, a body that- a body. You said a body? Yeah, my body. Yeah. I like to, you know, that to be strong, to look uh, uh, healthy, mm -hmm. to have, uh, muscles mm -hmm. and that make me feel good you know making me feel young and useful and sexy and you know so that's good I, so so you remember what you told me uh when you started lifting because before that you weren't lifting you were doing the treadmill the sauna and then we got i started talking to you about actually doing weight and we got together and did wait. And you said, what changed with your groceries? You remember what you said about that? Oh, groceries? believe me, I used to feel so, so bad, so weak, so uh, helpless. Mm -hmm. When when I go to the supermarket, when I used to go to the supermarket and then they put in the bag a lot of things that I couldn't lift. And I look at them and I say, can you make more than one, than one bag? <laughs> so I felt so bad. I said, I, I felt weak. And I said, one day I want to lift all of them and feel strong. So I started, you helped me. I really appreciate what yeah. you've been done to me. I mean, mm -hmm. to help me. You are a great coach. I appreciate um, that. No, you are really from my heart. And you, you helped me to become strong. And I am myself, I'm, I'm surprised. I didn't know that I could be that strong. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I remember you used to tell me, no, that's too heavy. Don't leave that. I said, why not? So, <laughs> I, I, you know, I was shocked myself that I have so much uh, uh, strength after, you know, we trained for, for a little while. So after that, I, we couldn't do it because of the, uh, the COVID. Yeah. Yeah, pandemic, yeah. At least we, we slowed down by that time. And I thought that I wouldn't be able to lift it again because I thought that, oh, my God, I lost my my muscles. I felt, again, I felt like uh, emotionally making me feel like I was nobody. I mean, I, I have to depend on somebody else. And I don't like that because I... Uh, Inside myself, I am not the type of person that can that like to depend on somebody else right. to do things for me. Right. I mean, if I can jump and go on top of my house and do something, <laughs> I'll do it. So I remember you uh, sent me a video about this lady who I really admire, but you know how bad I am with names. Ernestine. Uh, Ernestine Shepherd. Ernestine. Yeah. Oh my God, I wish I can do that. But well, one day. <laughs> you can't, you know, you can do that because it's, uh -huh. it's not that I that I cannot, it's the circumstance don't help me. Yeah. Because I, you know, I, I wish I can wake up like at four o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and start doing gym, you know, uh before I start having breakfast or whatever. Right. It, it's amazing good. that's amazing because you say that that's exactly what she does she gets mm -hmm. up like four in the morning and she goes for a walk i think they said her and her husband she goes for a walk 
come back. I don't know what she does after that, but she has her nutritional drink. But she's in the gym, you know, lifting like you were lifting. You you're doing the stuff she was doing the the pull downs, the squats. Um, I got I got an, another um, uh, way I want you to lift now. Even though I showed you the free motion workout program, yeah, you, you saw that video and I gave you that program to use. But mm -hmm. I want you to start using dumbbells at the gym and okay. at your house, too. And we're going to make a program. We'll make a program where you can use those dumbbells before breakfast. Now, you should be able to get and do 10 minutes before breakfast. When you wake up like you want to do, roll out the bed, have some water, lift your weights for 10 minutes, and be done with your day. I got a program that I know that will work for you. And all you need is some dumbbells. That's okay. all you need. So sounds good to me. Huh? Sounds I good. I say to you? sounds good to me. Okay. So um yeah, I, I remember the one thing I that st stood out to me about your you and your exercise, we started doing deadlifts. And I think at that time you were weighing between 98 and 104 pounds, I think. Mm -hmm. is, is it okay to say that? <laughs> to tell yeah, people your okay. weight. Mm -hmm. So you were going to pick up a 125 pound bar. And I said, no, not yet. <laughs> yep. You go, why not? And then you lifted it right off off the ground. I said, oh my goodness. And then you made it look so easy. You said, I could do it again. And I was like, okay. Anyway, that was the beginning of you being confident based on the strength you had gained. So you you pretty much did all the work because you were confident and you can do it. And the second thing I remember, there was a guy running the agility ladder. Oh, yeah. You looked, you said, hey, I want to do that. <laughs> I said, uh, no, not. And then you, no, 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 I can do that. And you went over to the guy and said, let me do it. <laughs> yeah. Said, let me do that. And he looked at you like, are you serious? And you... He was shocked. I, I, you didn't see his face, but he was amazed at how quick you went through that ladder. You didn't just walk through it casually. You went through it almost like he did. So you have the agility. You know, you have the strength. The key with what we want to work on with you is your balance. Remember you said you have balance yep. issues. Mm -hmm. and I that's really what, need still, I need to work on that. Yeah, that that takes some time and um, almost doing it every day. Just balancing yourself. You ever try this? Uh, a, a personal trainer friend of mine said, try this while you're brushing your teeth. Stand on one leg. Oh, God, that's a good idea. I, I, I usually do that when I'm doing what I'm doing. Sometimes I'm doing something and I go and I do that. Yeah. And especially those, uh, these two, I don't know how you call that, that you lend it to me. Uh, it's a, like a rubber. Right. The ball, the, uh, balance ball. Yeah. Something like oh, that. I, I love to do that, you know, because what I do, I take my, I lift, uh, I think it's eight pound in each hand. Mm -hmm. And then I go like when I'm losing the balance, then I, you know, I go like uh, trying to balance. Mm hmm. On top of that, I mean, it's not easy, but like in the uh, the first time, or well, maybe I fall down. I mean, I don't fall down, but, right. you know, I, I can stand it. So then I try it again, and I try it again until I can see that I can, you know, like using my, the bells, keeping myself in balance. Mm, that's it. Fantastic. I love that. Right. And, that and, and, and that's, mm -hmm. what you, that's what you have to do constantly and the key is you have to love it like you say you do and you do have to fall down not literally fall down you got to lose your balance lose you're, your balance. you're building you're building the neuromuscular system so your your nerve endings are learning this balance so that's a great thing for you so um what is your fitness routine right now even you know you're going to the gym so what kind of days being as busy as you are what days are you able to go into the gym comfortably? Well, I'm sorry. Tuesday in the morning, I go dancing. 
and sometimes I do Zumba in my house. Mm-hmm. And I uh, one day I went on Thursday and I met this lady, very nice lady, very uh, uh, well trained, uh, Kathleen. But Tuesday I like uh, to do it with Michelle. She's a very good uh, trainer too. Mm-hmm. And uh, I really enjoy it. I mean, but I'm sorry, I have to say that. But uh-uh. I say, well, I'm going to go, but that's for old people. <laughs> so let me, let, people, let me let people know that what you're talking about is the silver sneakers class. Yeah, that's, and, I was going to say that. <laughs> and Michelle teaches it on Tuesday, and another lady, Kathleen, teaches it Kathleen. on Thursday. Mm-hmm. And she, Michelle does teach you all yeah. the balance. She teaches y'all balance. She does a little uh, weight training. But I'm gonna tell you, the weights that you're using there are a little too light for what you're cu- used to. I know. So if you went into the other room that has the green um, uh, turf down on it, use that turf room. They got a dumbbell set in there. If you just use that. Because I want to get you off of the machines. I don't want you to use machines because if you use dumbbells and do your workout standing, it builds out, builds up your core a lot better, make it a lot stronger, which will improve your balance overall because everything is connected. So, um, you know, right now, I know we still work together, um, but as a coach, you know, what kind of fitness coach? And I asked everybody this, what kind of fitness coach is better for you? Do you need one in person? Do you like the online type stuff where we send you the information to do, or do you just need someone right there with you? What kind of coach is best for you? Oh, to tell you the truth, I really enjoy doing it anyway. Any, any way, but of course, I like to have a coach in presence because it's it's more connected, right. you know. And since I started doing that, learning and and lifting weight with my coach in presence, you and I, right? Mm-hmm. I feel better because uh, you can see where I can, what I'm doing wrong, and you can correct me. Uh, because it's, it's, it's very important when you uh, exercise that you do it in the right and correct way. You see? If you, I mean, I'm, and now I'm giving you lectures. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. And <laughs> that, means you were, that means you were taught. I taught you now. I'm going to tell you something when you finish. I'm going to tell you something what you, I've taught you before. But go ahead. Okay. Okay. I remember... The first time I spoke to you, you were observing me, and I was telling uh, this lady that don't let the machine to control you. You control the machine. And then you <laughs> remind me that you say that you're observing me doing that. Uh, yeah, I'm go for that. Uh, not only in, in that way, but in the entire life, you cannot let even the the atmosphere, the whatever is surrounding you to control your inner. I mean, you, you should have control of you yourself, you right. know, right. even your feelings, even uh, your expression. That doesn't mean that I'll do it all the time. <laughs> I just, I find out that I'm not perfect. So that's true. Yeah, you just found that out, huh? No. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so so that 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 is the key. Now I want I want to emphasize that to everyone that's listening. So you talk about correct form, uh, making sure you're doing it right. The key is what you just said. When you're lifting anything, it's it's a weight. It's it's inanimate, it's dumb, it doesn't think, it doesn't control you. So just make sure you control it. And I remember showing you. Like if we saw people just swinging the weight or they do the pull down and it, and it'll let the weight fall back to the stack. And I told you, no, you control it. Never let it hit the stack real hard. Never let it pull your joints out. You know, don't let it control your movement because that leads to injury. Now, if you remember that form is the secondary, but if you learn control, 
you can do this yourself. So when I had you doing the machines, you would go around through the machines in their order, doing the chest press, the leg press, the shoulder press, the back pull down, the bicep curl, the tricep. I want you to still do that, but I want, I want you to do that in the using dumbbells. And I, uh, I want to say this because I did ask you what kind of coach you, you feel is best. And that's one that's present. You say, yes. um, the, the key is knowing how to take over for yourself because you shouldn't have to rely upon me. You should be, be you should be able to say, I know what he showed me. I'm going to go in there and do it. And then if you needed some help, I'll give you some tweaks to do this. Instead, you say, I'm tired of doing this. I want to change to this. Then we change to it. But it starts with internal motivation. So you have to keep before you the things you said at the beginning, how you love being strong, love being confident, love how it was making your body look. And you got to, Say that to yourself all the time and then go in that gym and make it happen. And if you can't make it to the gym, take those dumbbells you got at home and lift them. So you think that can help? That can work? Sure. I mean, that <laughs> sounds very good. <laughs> <laughs> but still, you know, what happened is that I, I like the relationship with people. You know, I, I love people. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care. I mean, I just see it human being so that's the reason it's good to be in group and everything you know or with another person but i i understand what you mean and i really appreciate it because through the pandemic i could uh, do the exercise and even i saw you in uh, videos but i felt like you were <laughs> right there you know it's, it's very interesting i mean i didn't know that somebody can do that and make you feel that the person is right there yeah. with you doing, you know, I, that's the reason I say you are the best coach. And, and the reason I say that is not just to make you feel good. It's, it's true. Seriously. I mean, it's because you, you love what you're doing. Oh, yeah. And when you, when you love and enjoy what you're doing, you do it right. So yeah. I've been doing this, I've been doing this over 40 years personally. So my thinking is it shouldn't be that hard. Everybody should be able to do it and everybody should want to do it. Um, so because um we gotta take care of our bodies and feel good. Like you say how you feel. Now you still get up and go and do your things like you what did you tell me? You say you're not really 73, you're you stopped you said you stopped aging at 29 right you you're 29 right <laughs> still <laughs> seriously that's the way i feel i mean right. my feelings i i'm in love with life yes i'm i really enjoy being alive and breathing and breathing and um i love to do things you know and believe me, one thing I, I when when you started uh, coaching me, I say, oh my God, this guy thinks I just doing this two or three times. I'm going to be strong. I thought that I have to, you know, to lift weight, to do things, and to get tired of uh, exercising and uh, sweating. But then I find out now it's not. It's mm. not true. I mean, you helped me to become very strong. Without, uh, how you say that? I uh, like without abusing you, right. you, you, you life. I right. mean, you, your body. Right, right, right. And, and well, that's fantastic. That I really think about it. You know, I say, my God, that's the reason I say you are the best coach because I can see all the people and the way they teach other, like mm. you know, make them, uh, force them to do to get exhausted. To get exhausted, get wear them out. No, you don't need that. Um, no. Because like with you, like with you, we did the leg press machine mm -hmm. and you were like, oh, I don't know. I said, have a seat. You can do it. And I remember the weight was getting higher and higher and higher. And I was like, you were like, oh, my. 
And I said, oh, just do about maybe four or five reps. And you ended up doing like eight. <laughs> you said, oh, I could do more. And I was like, I was, I was thoroughly impressed. So um, and this was good. Uh, I, I'm glad we were able to do this little brief interview with you. I don't want to keep you too long. Um, I just wanted people to hear like your story and how you feel about weightlifting at your age and still feel good and young and, 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 and encouraged to do it. So we're going to get you a little program that you're going to try. I can't, I got the videos all already done. I just want you to try it, but okay. do the free motion, you know, the free motion program I sent to you, go in the gym and do that for now. Uh, you can do it on Tuesdays after your silver sneakers, after you get a warm up with silver sneakers. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's what I do. You know, believe me. When I went to that machine and I lift 100, I started with 95, so it's too yeah. light. And then I say 120, it's light. I said, oh my God, I got scared. I said, no, wait a second. He <laughs> told me that don't go fast. I can't believe I still can lift it with my legs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. can you believe that at my age, I don't have any kind of pain like in my joints and Oh God, I can wake up. I can get out of my bed. I, I, I can't believe it. I mean, I don't know. What is your Maybe eating like? It's because you eat good. What is your eating like? How do you oh, eat? Oh no. I eat, um, I believe it's healthy mm -hmm. because I eat uh, protein, a lot of protein, mm -hmm. uh, salad, vegetables, no, a lot of sh no sugar. I don't like sugar, and uh, I don't eat uh, carbohydrate, uh, refined carbohydrate. That's the key. I, so that's the key. But, mm -hmm. I was just listening to a podcast where this guy said that he found that if people were eating about a hundred and twenty grams of protein every day, their body weight the fat burned off just eating 120. And then the guy asked him, he said, well, doesn't it vary depending on how much you weigh? He said, it didn't matter. It didn't matter if someone was 150 pounds or 300 pounds. If they mm -hmm. ate 120 grams of protein every day and got off the refined carbohydrates like you did, their body weight just, and this, and their body weight dropped without exercise. Mm -hmm. The drop, the body weight went down, the fat went down. And so I, I, I started doing what you're doing. I said, you know, I like to eat. I liked eating my refined carbohydrates. Now I stopped. I don't know I'm doing it. And I'm, I'm feeling better because of that. And so I know you eat healthy and that's why you can bounce around like you do and get up and be ready and don't have those aches and pains in your joint. If people got off sugar, and I do want to do a, Michelle and I are going to do a, a, a course on uh, nutrition and one on sugar, get, educating people on sugar. Once you get off of sugar, you'll see a big difference in your life. You will. So that's good I, that you tell, you tell us about that. Yeah. I learned to read every, um, everything I'm going to eat, everything I'm going to drink. Mm -hmm. So I don't drink those, uh, Jews, uh, they sell there because when they say no sugar, you can go and they have corn syrup. That is poison. Right. So I don't, I don't drink uh, uh, juice or, or Coca Cola. All that, mm -mm. that's mm -hmm. that will kill me. Right. So water, a lot of water. That's one thing I learned. You know, my metabolism is very, very good. You know, and I under, I know my, my body. I know. What what uh, what can uh, do bad in my in my in my in my body? My right. metabolism. It's like so there are con certain kind of uh, vegetable that I cannot eat it because they they are enemy to my body. My body rejected, and that's the way any different people. That's exactly uh, right. Yeah, exactly because everybody's right. not the same. And, and, you know, no matter how long we live, we have time to experiment with those things. Oh, now, yeah. they say eat these vegetables, and if it has a bad effect on you, 
eliminate those and try something else. That's right. Keep you got progressing it. to something and getting better with your health. But I'm gonna wrap this up right here. And what you just said is great for people in the end uh, who's, who are listening to this, who are over 50, over 60, like you over 70, and want to keep doing this. We're gonna tell them, ears, we're gonna tell them, don't take in refined carbohydrates and sugars. Don't do it. That's you the key, it. right? That's right. You got it. All right. So I want to thank you very much for this. And I'm going to say this to everybody out there. She's an inspiration to you. She's an inspiration to me. Let's get out there and be like it is and take care of ourselves and don't eat sugar. Okay. Everybody take care. This is Coach E signing off. Bye now. Bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed that show with Iris, um, and our interview was just a nice, natural conversation that we had. Uh, she's a positive person when it comes to exercise and being healthy, um, and I hope you were able to find something from that to use in your life, in, in your health and fitness journey. Um, but I want to just add this. You heard us talk about don't eat sugar. Um, that's just to emphasize the point that you should not uh, be a maniac or insane about having sugar because pretty much everything we have or eat contains some form of sugar. Or if it's a starch, generally it will turn into a sugar within the body. It's this natural process of how the body digests things. So I want you to understand that I eat sugar. Uh, I, I'm just very careful in how much I take in and uh, you know like I say in the show we're going to probably do a program that explains it a little better and something that you can uh, be educated on so uh, we're not crazy we're not maniacs I just um, just got a little overboard about don't eat sugar and I just want to emphasize that point uh, you can have sugar just everything in moderation you know that all right this is Koji Signing out. Take care.